Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about some common impairments for um, getting Social Security Disability Benefits. Um, some of them are like, depending on your medical condition, you may be eligible for benefit payments for like depression, anxiety, disability, PTSD. That can also, other things can be arthritis, RSD, I'm not sure what that is, diabetes, fibromyalgia, lupus, asthma, epilepsy. Epilepsy and cardiovascular disease. The Social Security Administration does impairments with the 14 major body systems that are considered severe enough to prevent someone from doing gainful activity, which means that earns, which means which means which means work that earns income. Most of the conditions are permanent and could result in death. So basically, these ha don't ha could result in your death or have to last for over a year. I think it's over a year. But this below was in the and the bridge versus is that can't automation and impairments. Differentiation below also contains complicated medical terminology. If you're not sure if your medical condition qualifies, you for your disability benefits, use this form to the right in order to contact us and get a free evaluation from one of the um, experienced disability advocates. I'll put a link below in the comments or in the description of where to go to get more information like muscular systems, um, so this was with your muscular system or recurrent or vascular or toxic metabolic diseases, special senses and speech, visual disorder. So basically, if you're blind, um, I guess, anomalies of the eye, the optic nerve. So basically, a loss of visual capability to distinguish detail, read or do fine work, a loss of visual field limits, your ability to receive visual stimuli. In the, so your visual, visual and, and speech, Respiratory system, the listens in the section described. Okay. Respiratory system, only thing you're associated with payments must be established by medical evidence. Do you have medical evidence there? <coughs> <coughs> you call it about any cardiovascular system, any disorder that affects the <coughs> proper function of the heart or circulatory system, that it, or the veins cut lungs, or lungs are drained. This risk can be congenital or, or acquired, your digestive system. Your digestive system, disorders, digestive systems, could be gastro, gastro system, liver function, your gonitary impairments, Hematology disorders, sickle cell, cell disease. So if you got sickle cell disease, you can qualify. Um, like I said, I'll put a link if I with all this. Um, I'm not going to read this whole thing here. This video will be too long. Um, chronic thyroid. With plate accounts repeated below, 40,000 K. Hemorrhage, hereditary tetrodes. Hemor hemor some of the stuff I can't pronounce, so I'm going to put a link below or something to help you with this. Cardiovascular defects, from hemolytic disorder, similar disorder. Pathocytes, variables, myelofibrosis, chronic anemia. So I guess it would be chronic anemia. Skin disorders, endocrine disorders, impairments that affect multiple body systems, neurological disorders, epilepsy. No, you got to have um, doctors, medical evidence to prove all this. Brain tumors, multiple sclerosis, traumatic brain injury. Um, amyloid sclerosis, AOS, that's Lou Gehrig's disease, so AOS, epilepsy.
The essential nervous system, Parkinson's syndrome, cerebral palsy, multiple sclerosis, amyotrophic sclerosis, anotrophic I can't pronounce that this stuff, so I'll leave a link below in the description or in the comments of where to go. Mycetal gravis, muscular dystrophy. That's your motor function. Degenerative disease, mental disorders, that's bipolar, immune systems disorders, depression, depression may be described as feeling sad, blue, unhappy, miserable, down in the dust, both of us feel this way at one time or another for shorter periods, but I think this, you have like clinical depression, that's real long depression. True clinical depression is a mood disorder, which feelings, your feelings of sadness, loss, anger, or frustration, interfere with everyday life for weeks or longer. And that's about it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look this video up. Oh no, I think I got one more page here. The, the cause of, the, the exact cause of depression is not known. Many researchers believe it's caused by chemical changes in the brain. This may be due to a problem with your genes or triggered by certain stressful events. More likely it's a combination of both. Some types of depression may run in your family, but depression can also occur if you have no family history of the illness. Also, the developed person need also Anyone can develop depression, even kids. So, okay, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and get this video loaded up, and um, I'll have a nice day.